mankind without him we do nothing. All right? We gotta get St. John 15 and 5. I have to find. He are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. All right? First, let's go to 1 Peter 1. Peter 1 verse 25 But the word of the Lord endureth forever and this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you Alright What I'm bringing out unto you is this gospel This gospel which is the word Understand I'm bringing it preached out to you I'm preaching it out to you Understand? Read that again. First Peter 1 and 25. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Alright? How is the gospel being preached unto you? It's being preached unto you right now. Well, y'all won't hearken. Y'all won't hearken. So the gospel shall be preached unto you. Alright? The gospel is being preached unto you right now. Let's go to my, uh, Matthews 24 and 14. Right? It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Understand? This gospel is being preached throughout the whole world to all the brothers out in the four corners of the earth who's bringing out this word. Understand? Now you know the end is going to come because throughout the whole world there's a brother in whatever country he's in or island he's in bringing out this word. Understand? Throughout the four corners of the earth. That's how you know the end is here. The end is nigh. Understand? Because this gospel is being brought out, man. And y'all can't stop it. Understand? Let's read that again. Matthew 24, verse 14. And this, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Let's go to Matthew, the 11th chapter. Right? It says, and then shall the end come when the gospel is preached by the world. All right? Matthew 11 and 12 says, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent taken by force. All right? says all right this is the kingdom of heaven that suffered violence from the days of John the Baptist until now now we're still in our captivity we're still in slavery understand but now it's mental for a lot of you people or in mental bondage. And y'all refuse to come out of mental bondage. Y'all don't want to come out of mental bondage. This is what's going on in your minds. Y'all are slaves. Y'all are slaves in your mind, all right? Let me read that again. Matthew 11 and 12. And from the day of, of and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violence taken by force, all right? Wasn't our homeland taken by force? And wasn't the people taken by force? We didn't come here willingly. We were taken by force. And we are the kingdom of heaven, all right? This is the kingdom of heaven. You Negroes, West Indians, Puerto Ricans, and Native Americans, the people of Negro and Indian descent, you're the kingdom of heaven, 
Understand? And you were taken by force and by violence. Understand? Look at the violence. This devil haven't paid for this yet. Understand what I'm saying? This devil haven't paid for this yet. He must be paid back for this. Understand what I'm saying? He must be paid back for this. Understand the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, man. Y'all run around every day like everything is all good. Y'all forget about this? You dumb niggas. Right? The kingdom of heaven has suffered violence. You people. You people. Understand? You were put in slavery. You are robbed. Understand? You're the one locked up in the prison houses. You're the one locked up in the prison prison houses. I will oppress a slayers and hold yourself not guilty. Understand? From the days of John the Baptist till now, we're still suffering under these devils, man. Tell you what, man, it's time for y'all to get a backbone. As the elder said, man, it's time for y'all brothers of Negro and Indian descent, man, it's time for y'all to get a backbone, man. Stop standing up, man. Y'all are too weak and soft. Let me that again. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violence taken by force. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians 1 verse 6 Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Alright? Who trouble us? Huh? Who trouble us? These red devils. You understand what I'm saying? Let me read that again. Second Thessalonians 1 verse 6. See it. It's a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Alright? This is a righteous thing to recompense tribulation to those that trouble you. Who did this? Recompense is coming for y'all. Understand that? Fucking devils. one and six seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you all right revelation 18. all right For who trouble us man we got taken down by violence we were ruled over by violence we were brought here by violence this country was built by violence we were conquered by violence. Understand? And he says it's a righteous thing to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Because how was Babylon built, man? How was it conquered? Through violence. All right? Revelation 18 and 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Understand? Understand that thus the violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down and be found no more at all. Understand? Violence. What is the violence? Violence. 
shall the great city Babylon, America, be thrown down and found no more at all. Understand? 